All right, so we're going to look in this video at how to calculate the KVA rating of a transformer, also known as our apparent power. We're going to look at this triangle, we're going to look at this formula, and we're going to look at this actual transformer, and we're going to link them all together so that it makes sense. So let's look and ask ourselves what we're actually calculating. What is apparent power and what is the KVA rating of a transformer? So let's quickly run through how this transformer works on a really basic level so we understand what we're looking for here. So we apply our primary supply, our voltage and our primary into these windings, don't we? And then we have a current flowing through these windings. And if we've got a current flowing through a conductor, we know that a magnetic field is going to be produced around it. That magnetic field is going to induce an EMF inside the core and it's going to cut through these windings here, which is going to induce an EMF in these windings. And then we're going to end up with a current flowing around this winding, the secondary winding. Now, that process is never 100% efficient, is it? Obviously, we're going to have some losses along the way and we can calculate that in another video. But what we're talking about when we say this is, and we'll link it to this triangle now, essentially, in an ideal world, we'd only produce our true power, wouldn't we? So we'd have a transformer that could induce an EMF perfectly onto this side, and we'd get exactly what we want on this side with no losses whatsoever. But we do have losses, don't we? We have resistive losses inside the windings. But we also have uh, reactive losses inside here, okay? Our inductive reactants inside this transformer core. So that's what this accounts for on our triangle, this reactive power on this side. That's not allowing us just to produce true power. It's actually dragging this true power over here and it's dragging our voltage and our current out of phase with each other. So that's why you see this triangle. That's why we use this as our measurement of our apparent power. So the kilovolt rating, kilovolt amp rating of a transformer, the apparent power, is when we look at it like this before anything happens, how much power could we produce? And that's our kilovolt amps. Like I said, quick recap, we want just true power, but we're never going to just produce that, are we? We're always going to have some reactive power in there, which is why we use this green line as our measurement of KVA, our apparent power. Okay, so let's have a look at the formula with regards to an actual question. This is super easy to calculate, even though it seems complicated. So let's look at it. What we've got in our question, first of all, let's analyze that. So, if a transformer has a secondary current of 10 amps and a secondary voltage of 230 volts, determine the KVA rating of the transformer. Well, let's look at our formula here and go back up to our transformer for a second and look at KVA. So, we can see from our formula, KVA, the kilovolt amp rating of our transformer, so how much power it can apparently use or produce, taking into account our true and reactive power elements, all we're saying is that we're multiplying the volts by the amps and dividing it by a thousand. The only reason we're dividing by a thousand is because we're looking at killer, aren't we? So it's nice and simple. So let's look at that again then down here in our question. And let's actually input some values into our question now and do this. Nice and easy, nice and easy, isn't it? So we're looking at KVA rating, volts times amps divided by a thousand. So we're looking at 10 multiplied by 230, divide that by a thousand, and that's going to give us our kilovolt amp rating of our transformer. So stick those values in. I'm not going to do it on this video just to save some time and keep it short, but that's nice and simple. So just bear in mind as a quick recap, we want to produce just true power, but we're never going to do that. We're always going to have some reactive power, and that's dragging our voltage and current out of phase. And that's why we use our apparent power, this green line, as our KVA rating of a transformer. There's our formula that we use, volts times amps divided by a thousand. 